Yes, some big breaking news coming in from Karnataka. Karnataka Minister K. S. Ishwarappa has said that death note by contractor Santosh Patil is false propaganda against him. This is Ishwarappa's response. He says that he has informed Karnataka Chief Minister Basraj Bommai as well as the party president that there is no question of resignation. Remember, K. S. Ishwarappa right now is in the center of a storm while you have the Karnataka Congress gunning for his resignation. In fact, K.S. Ishwarappa has been pushed to resign, but he's, he remains defiant, saying that the suicide note is false propaganda. K.S. Ishwarappa now in the centre of a storm as Santosh Patil, a contractor, committed suicide and in a suicide note blamed K.S. Ishwarappa for his death, saying that Ishwarappa harassed him, took money from him, and, uh, and, and he couldn't tolerate the kind of harassment coming in from K.S. Ishwarappa's men and therefore naming K.S. Ishwarappa in his suicide note, this man Santosh Patil claimed his life. Soon after, we see the family of uh, Santosh Patil coming out and saying that they will not touch the body of their beloved unless and until K.S. Ishwarappa, the accused, is not arrested. Jumping into this controversy is the opposition, Karnataka Congress. In large numbers, the Karnataka Congress members have protested, carrying out protest marches in Karnataka only to demand for Ishwarappa's resignation or for him to be sacked. In fact, we hear that Karnataka Congress leaders, all the top leaders, including DK Shivkumar Siddharamaya, have taken a special flight to go and meet with the victim's family uh, where he lives. He's go they're going to be meeting with the victim's family and then upping their ante against Ishwarappa for him to be sacked. In fact, Chief Minister Basaraj Bombay has said so far that investigations will go into this case fair and free. He will be... He, Bombay himself, the Chief Minister himself says that he will be investigating this matter. He has asked for thorough investigation. No, no one will be spared if guilty, is what Bombay says, the Chief Minister of Karnataka. But here is K.S. Ishwarappa who remains defiant, calling this false propaganda against him. Quickly cut across to Nolan Pinto joining us for more on that. Nolan, here you have the Karnataka Congress, we believe, in large numbers, have taken a special flight, have flown down to meet with Santosh Patil's family members. We see that now this has become the main centre focus of protests for the opposition in Karnataka, with KS Ishwarappa, on the other hand, remaining defiant. He says that this is false propaganda, I'm not going to resign. He says it with so much calm and confidence, while investigations are, uh, against him carry on. An FIR has been booked against him. Give us an understanding into this case and tell us how exactly has Ishurappa here been dragged into this entire case. What's the connection between Santosh Patil and KS Ishwarappa? Well, Nabila, in fact, uh, the Congress senior leaders of the Congress, uh, led by DK Shivkumar Sidramya and also Sujewala, is what I'm told. In fact, it's raining pretty heavily in Bengaluru right now. But all these senior leaders have taken a special flight for, uh, at 3 o'clock, uh, should reach in Belag Belagavi as of now. They will be actually meeting the deceased family members right over there. So while Ishwarappa has steadfastly stated that he has done nothing wrong in this particular case and that he will not resign because the Congress wants him to resign, the Congress has decided that their agitation will continue uh, till the minister resigns and also not just resigns but is also arrested. So this is the situation as of now over here. The Congress in the morning went and met the governor, submitted a memorandum. Uh, they are basically stating that Bommai, the chief minister, is protecting and shielding Ishwarappa over here and also putting force obey on the police not to actually file a proper case. In fact, uh, Sidramaya clearly says, him be, he being a lawyer itself, uh, that uh, the actual cases, actual sections of the IPC have not been actually added in this particular, or included in the FIR, especially uh, the uh, sections from the Prevention of Corruption Act, because they claim that it is the foundation of this entire case. So if they blame the chief minister for this, saying that the onus is on the chief minister to actually uh, file a proper case, uh, make sure that Ishwarappa steps down and is arrested immediately. If not, the Congress will continue with the agitation. But you have seen how it is. Ishwarappa clearly says that he will not step down, come what may, he will not resign because he has nothing to do with it. And initially he had also filed a defamation case against Santosh, the deceased, because he says that he did not know him. 
the opposition says that this was a he is a BJP karya karta. There are photos to prove that uh, Ishwarapa knew him. He was in close proximity with him. So this is the situation as of now in this city. All right. Now, so we know that Ishwarapa is uh, clearly here in the spotlight. Has a lot of answering to do. He cannot brush his hands off this case, considering uh, that, that that he has had connections with Santosh Patil, who is a contractor who, who claims to have worked with Ishwarapa. In fact, Ishwarapa also went on to file a defamation case against Santosh Patil when Santosh uh, raised corruption allegations and written a letter. He shot a letter to Prime Minister Modi asking him to take action against the BJP minister. Now, with some.